Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got more good news on GPU supply. Ryzen 3D releases win, lower prices for all, and one of the biggest leaks ever. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, I have some great news when it comes to GPU supply and prices. If you didn't see my recent video, I went over a story that shows GPUs actually being sold for below MSRP in Germany. Of course, those were just AMD's 6500 XT, but like I said in that video, it's hopefully an indication of what's to come. Well, in a new story from Tom's Hardware, GPU prices on eBay have fallen through the month of February. In fact, every GPU saw a drop of at least a few percentage points from the previous month, with the average overall drop of 12%. Now, that may not sound like much, but as we've seen in Germany from 3dcenter.org, this is becoming a trend. They also found less cards were actually sold on the platform platform, which means fewer people are taking the bait from scalpers. And that could mean we may soon see even more price drops as scalpers rush to get rid of stock before they're stuck holding the bag. Fingers crossed. Now, what if I told you that you could learn computer science from some of the brightest minds from Microsoft, Google, or even MIT, right from your own home? Well, now you can with today's sponsor, Brilliant, the online learning platform that's built to teach the STEM field. And all of their courses were created by award-winning teachers, professionals, or researchers, so you know you're learning from the best. And if that wasn't enough, Brilliant teaches you the best way, by having you actually do it instead of memorizing formulas or anything like that. You learn with fun, interactive challenges of all kinds. Plus, they're always updating courses and making them that much better. And the best part is that you can try it out for free when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermelt or click the link in the description. And if you decide to get it after, the first 200 users who click the link get 20% off the annual premium. So don't wait and click the link in the description below. Next up for today, AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7 5800X 3D is set to be a really interesting launch. Remember that the chip comes with AMD's new 3D stacked V cache, and that lets it get up to a whopping 96 megabytes of L3 cache. Compare that to the 32 megabytes of L3 cache in the regular 5800X, and 3D stacking begins to make sense. Unfortunately, we haven't heard much about the chip since it was announced back at CES in January. Sure, we got a spring release window, but that's about it. That is, until now. According to a new post from known leaker Greymon55, the upcoming chip has been shipped out and will likely be on the market by the end of this month. Of course, Intel is planning to release their 12900KS model, which is set to get a boost clock of up to 5.5 GHz. And we recently saw a benchmark that shows it can perform quite well. Of course, AMD's 3D part uses 3D vCache instead of going with higher clocks, so we'll have to see which approach comes out on top. Whatever happens, let's just say that the competition is heating up. And speaking of competition, there's one thing I love about it, and that's cheaper prices. Simply put, when you offer the best of a product, you can charge more. I mean, look at where Intel's prices were just before Ryzen. That's what happens when you have no meaningful competition for years. And of course, to their credit, that's just because Intel was flat better. In came Ryzen in 2017, and Intel was in for a rude awakening. AMD had CPUs that outperformed Intel in certain workloads at a fraction of the price. It was the market shakeup we all needed, and AMD was happy to deliver. But the pitfalls of being a market leader can and will happen to anyone. No one will sell a product for less than they can. And once AMD was in the driver's seat, they went up a bit with the launch of their Ryzen 5000 CPUs. But now Intel is back with Alder Lake, so the inevitable has happened. AMD has dropped the price on pretty much their entire Ryzen 5000 lineup. We're talking up to 25%, with the 5950X coming in at $200 off, the 5900X and 5800X are $100 off, and so on. And I'll have some affiliate links in the description if you're interested. But simply put, competition is great. And lastly for today, the mother of all leaks just happened. If you remember in my last video, NVIDIA was allegedly hacked, with one terabyte of files taken from the company. Well, NVIDIA has actually confirmed that they were in fact compromised. Now, they claim not to anticipate any disruption in their business, which likely won't happen, but some of the files are coming to light. And one of them actually includes the specs of NVIDIA's entire next-gen Lovelace GPUs. Remember that Lovelace is set to be NVIDIA's mainstream RTX 4000 cards, or whatever they 
end up calling them since they technically already have a 4000 series. Either way, it's the follow-up to the current gen RTX 3000. Now, I will say that I wouldn't normally go over hacked files, but it's already out everywhere. Just know that I'm not going to have any links to the actual files or anything like that. Either way, the leaker Lafrit David, who apparently saw the documents, actually posted a graph of the specs. So let's go over it. Starting things off, we can see that the high-end 8102 comes with 144 SMs, which given NVIDIA keeps the cores per SM the same, we're looking at a maximum of 18,432 cores. And it would likely be, say, the 4090 Ti that would be the one to utilize all of those. What's wild is that we've actually seen this number before all the way back last year. So the leaks are looking extremely accurate. Either way, for reference, that's over 70% more cores when compared to the GA102. Of course, core count isn't the only change, and given the leaks have been so accurate so far, as Greymod55 says, we seriously could be looking at over two times the performance. Moving back to the specs, we have the 8103 with 10,752 cores, 8104 with 7,680 cores, 8106 with 4,608 cores, and 8107 with 3,700. 72 cores. Now, the information doesn't stop there. Next Gen is apparently set to get a massive jump in L2 cache. We're talking up to 96 megabytes compared to 6, so 16 times the L2 cache, which likely makes this Nvidia's answer to AMD's Infinity cache. Either way, the 8102 part gets 96 megabytes, 8103 has 64, 8104 gets 48, and both the 8106 and 107 have 32. At the end of the day, NVIDIA's next-gen GPUs are shaping up to be a massive jump in performance. Hopefully they won't also be a massive jump in price. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for NVIDIA's next-gen GPUs? Or are you just excited to finally be seeing price drops? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!